Racial profiling and inhumane prison conditions, these are just some of America's downsides. According to the UN Human Rights Council, experts say Washington has a long way to go until it reaches international human rights standards. The U.S. has already refused their suggestion to abolish the death penalty. And as Artis Marina Portnoy reports, Americans are finding this review a little too hard to swallow. Freedom, justice and peace for the world must begin with freedom, justice and peace in the lives of individual human beings. America, long the self-appointed global leader on human rights, pointing out the shortcomings of others. And for the United States, this is a matter of moral and pragmatic necessity. But scenes of injustice like these are taking place not in other countries, instead happening right here in the U.S. A point being made by the United Nations Human Rights Council in its first comprehensive review of Washington's record. 228 points to be precise, recommendations on how the U.S. can do better in practicing what it preaches. Close Guantanamo and secret detention centers throughout the world. Punish those people who torture and execute detainees arbitrarily. The U.S. dismisses many of the suggestions, calling them political provocations by hostile countries. Yet even America's allies are highlighting grave flaws. France and Ireland demand Obama follow through on the promise to close Gitmo. Britain, Belgium and dozens of others calling on the U.S. to abolish the death penalty. For many, it's the ultimate hypocrisy. How a state with roughly 3,000 people on death row lectures the world about humanity. Fighting for my life. A case in point, Mumia Abu-Jamal viewed as America's very own political prisoner. The United States, the perpetrator of gross human rights violations, is using human rights as a political football against its enemies. And its enemies are enemies not because they violate human rights necessarily, but because the U.S. wants to change the government in their country. The country often accusing adversaries like Syria, Iran and North Korea of oppressing citizens is now faced with defending domestic practices like indefinite detention, poor prison conditions and racial profiling. Don't stand idly by. Don't be silent when dissidents elsewhere are imprisoned. America is home to the world's largest prison population with 2.3 million people currently behind bars. Children can be sentenced to life in prison, a place where more than 100 undocumented immigrants have died while awaiting deportation. Increasing discrimination against Muslims, another blemish on America's human rights record. What do you have to say, sir? Hundreds have been arrested in so-called FBI foil terror plots, plots using government paid informants to set up the crime, a practice other countries term entrapment. Alicia McWilliams McCollum's nephew is among those caught in these webs. She warns the system is losing its bearings. Americans need to wake up, because I don't know where the hell we going as Americans. No one country has all the answers, but all of us must answer to our own people. Question is, when the people speak, who's listening? The U.S. has rejected international calls to abolish the death penalty and dismissed several other recommendations, leaving many to ask if U.S. exceptionalism means do as I say, not as I do. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.